last few days I've been kind of contemplating you know the rest of the trail and you know it's this this last section's been been lonely section d you know i was hiking with with rory quite a bit and i was hiking with uh, with andrew and lucy and and having a good time well this this uh this section hasn't been as hard but i've i've found it harder for some reason you know i'm just camping by myself all the time and uh and i've been thinking that uh you know what i I started this trail with James. I'd like to finish it with him. And so I'm, I'm thinking about postponing sections F and G north of uh, Jasper, uh, maybe till next year or till whenever James does the rest of the trail. It's been fantastic, but you know what? I, if I'm not enjoying myself, then you know what's the point? Get off the road. Now he's, now he's in, yeah, he's on the side. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, he's in the woods now, go. Get to have some fun in the mud. Now it's over. <laughs> yeah, we got four four kilometers left to the trailhead, so getting there. No hikers yet. The GDT produces its views right off the bat. Look at that. Right at the trailhead. Love it. Time to go hiking. You forgot your you forgot your fleece. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Hunter. Thanks again, buddy. You saved like two days of hiking here, so it's uh Enjoy the journey, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm excited to hear about it. All right, bud, take it easy. Okay, guys. Look at these mountains here. And nice blue water. The north terminus of the GDT. That's it. Okay, we're knocking off miles. Ooh, that looks a little wet through there, James. Are you pre prepared to ford the mud puddles here? across the beaver dam first kind of water looks like it's in a few spots I'm just gonna walk with my my water shoes on for a little while James just went through with his runners so he's got wet feet we started uh, 
section G this morning. We uh, started out about 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, we got, I got a 45 pound pack on. James says he's carrying 50 pounds. I think he just wanted to be bigger than me. So far, lots of uh, just road walking here. And uh, we're 5K in on our 28K day, hoping to get to uh, Kakwa Provincial Park, or Kakwa Park where there's a, uh, a cabin. So hopefully we get to stay in a cabin tonight. It'd be awesome. Lunchtime. Here's our lunch area, courtesy of the Kakwa Snowmobile Association. Is that right? right? All right. Ooh, lunch that area. Is not pleasant to sit on. No, there's a table right up here. Oh. Okay. Lunch time. Some kimchi noodles for lunch. Here's our views from Buchanan Creek. We just entered into Kakwa Park. Beautiful views here so far. James and I are just grabbing some water and uh, I'm gonna keep moving. Oh no! Get some deeper, I'm a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's up to my waist. <laughs> <laughs> Could you could you hurry up? I'm using up all my uh, gigabytes on this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go that way the whole way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a 6.8 for technique on that uh, water crossing. Okay. Okay. 18k in. Uh, we're still pushing on to uh, to Kakwa Lake. Uh, probably another three hours, hopefully. I think we're maintaining about a 4k an hour pace here. So um, probably another 200 meters of elevation to go, and then it's fairly flat right to the lake. So it's good. Feeling good. Uh, oh, look at that gorgeous mountain. And there is a mountain of man. And that, my friends, is why I hike. This was behind me. I didn't even, hadn't even turned around to see it. Wow. So my, uh, my pack weighs 45 pounds. I weighed it this morning. That includes uh, two liters of water and food for six days. So uh, once we get to Blueberry, I'm gonna have an eight day food carry. So it'll go heavier than that. Uh, I packed an ultralight chair as a, as a comfort item. Figured we have some shorter days, we'll have some real good times to uh, utilize the chair. So worth carrying the extra weight of it.
I see that. Well, you're not gonna get there friggin' sitting on that thing. I'm uh, Donald Trump. I'm the President of the United States. No, I sound Australian. You sound Australian. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I can't do it. He has a, like a slightly higher voice. So. Yeah. Hi, I'm, I can't know. Uh, I can't. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Turn that yeah. off. So I'm having a break. I need this bad boy. There's a safe looking bridge. Uh, it's uh, just about seven o'clock. We got uh, one kilometer to get to Cockle Lake. This place, this place represents the end of the trail for, uh, for a lot of GT through hikers. I think I've been looking forward to coming to this place for probably seven years now. Ever since I saw my first Great Divide YouTube video. Yeah, it's a big day today. Um, we're gonna end up hiking 28.4 kilometers. James and I are both knackered. Uh, we, were, we were up at 4.30 and uh, James didn't, he had to work last night, so he didn't go to bed until one o'clock, so he's running on. I'm tired and he's running on fumes, so just about there. Look at that. And if that's not spectacular enough, look at that one. Even though I'm exhausted, I just can't walk past this. Look at this. Wow. Wow, you don't know how long it's, I've been wanting to get here for so long. Awesome. James has already broke into the place, it looks like. He's probably already sleeping. We got firewood. Pretty sick. We got a fireplace in here too. Oh, nice. Yeah. We got, that's the dock. And our, our food cache is over here. What a fantastic spot. Look at this. We're living the life tonight, dude. Okay, so we got a wood stove, some bunk beds. A lot of books. A lot of books. There's a, there's there's a loft up top. Yeah, I'm definitely not going up there, right? No. Cool, bro. Just a little look at Kakwa Lake. It's uh, it's 8.30 at night. Just had a fish jump here in front of me. What a beautiful little spot here. Wow. So nice. One little last little bit of video and then uh, eat some supper and go to bed. I'm friggin' beat. Oh, that was a trout jumping out there. Well, supper for tonight is my heaviest thing that I had. It is a, uh, a beef mango rice, and it has wasabi peas in it and uh, chipotle mango spice. 
It's actually really, really good. Um, yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm eating for supper. And then I'm going to go to bed right away. Thank you.